Well, Jeff, uh, you spoke about uh, doing some preparation over in the park with some sports people. Take us through what you do to, with them. Oh, well, I just I, I try to let them know they can train for 30, 35 minutes as professional athletes and, and be super fit. And then I also try to um, make sure that I give them a stamp of approval that uh, not they just believe in their fitness, but they believe in themselves. I try to teach them um, how to punch properly, how to, you know, um, if somebody grabs you, how to, you know, get out of that hold or how to hold somebody and just how to look after yourself for confidence. And I think, again, like I said, in this day and age, as a celebrity should know, and I'll never forget, years ago I um, stuck up for a friend of mine and um, I was ridiculed on TV and Yana Vin said to me, yeah, you know, like Jeff Fennick, you're not allowed to hit somebody. These are, these are dangerous. They're, they're weapons. weapons. Yeah. I said, well, so that means if I took the exact words I said to Yana Vin, so I'll well, say to you, Tony, if you had a daughter and I took your daughter out and somebody attacked her that night, and I said, listen, I'm very sorry, Tony, or Mr. and Mrs. Sheen, that I couldn't help you do it because if I touched them, these are wet. Well, excuse me, what bullshit's that? Somebody, if you're out with your friend, my dad told me one thing, if you're out with your friend, you go home with your friend. If something happens to your friend, it's got to happen to you. I mean, it's not over the top here, but I'm saying, listen, so if I'm with, with my wife or my children are walking down the street and somebody, oh, I can't, I can't touch them because I'm supposed to be some professional. Of course I'm going to touch them. You know, and, I mean, that's, that's my job, to, to look after my family and friends. And I mean... If we're going to get to the, the, that point of the world where we've we got to think of that, then we, then we live in a, <laughs> a screwed up world. Like I said, if something happens to my friend there with me, it's got to happen to me as well. So um, that's simple. I, I want to take you back um, about 60 seconds. You said that uh, the sports people you train, it gives them added confidence. How does that give them added confidence? Or is that a broad thing? Can oh, you instill confidence through physical exercise? Oh, of course you can. Like I said, if you know that somebody walks up to you and you're with your girlfriend and somebody does something or and you know that you have the capabilities of first of all looking after yourself and her um, that, that's what life's about life's being able to walk down the street with your head held high knowing that if um, whatever happens yeah, you, you're going to rise to that occasion if somebody yeah look whatever you know and I'm not saying that I promote uh, violence but and there comes a time where sometimes you just can't walk away, or, or you're put into a corner. And, you know, but it's great to know that you can you can look after yourself. You got the confidence to. If you take the um, end result, which could be um, looking after yourself or your girlfriend or your kids, even just the the pure nature of physical exercise, can that instill confidence? Of course it can. Like I said, um, knowing that you have some form of uh, self-defense or, or confidence in, in what you can do will, will come out in, in, in your voice as well. I mean, you know, the, the, those little dogs, if they, f if they know you're scared and they're going to bark their head off, they're going to chase you all the way down the street, you stand up and they'll just stand off and bark at you. So there's no difference in, in, in the human, you know, so if we, you know, like I said, I'm not encouraging somebody, yeah, I'm punching somebody straight in the face, but I'm just saying if somebody does or in this day and age, isn't it great to think that, yeah, you, you have, you know, uh, some form of confidence if somebody does something that you, you're going to be able to look after yourself and so on, your family, your kids. And I just think it's such an important part of, of the world today. We, you know, we don't live in a safe world. Mm. How good do you feel once you've completed a workout? I feel great because I know that I can go out and eat and drink what I want because I don't want to go back to that gym tomorrow. And that's, and that's one of the main reasons why I do what I do today. Um, I've trained every day of my life for, for, for a long time and you know, I still want to train Well, I do want to train. And I, not because I'm, I'm a fitness lady, but because I want to enjoy my life. And I know that training and um, doing that, um, yeah, makes my lifestyle better. I can go out and have a, a beautiful glass of red wine, you know, knowing that the next day I'm going to be in the gym, I can go and have a dessert, knowing that I'm going to burn that off the next day where if I had my glass of wine and my dessert every day without exercising, I'd, I'd end up the size of you, Tony. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jeff.